Hi, happy Friday. I'm Shirley Martin from Be Totally Fit for Life and I'm welcoming you to my kitchen. I just made something really great and I decided to share it with you because you know what? It's getting to be fall. We're not fall yet, but you can tell that the seasons are changing and those wonderful vegetables and fruits in the harvest time in the fall are starting to come to uh, the farm markets and in our gardens. I found this fantastic, I don't know if you can see it, spaghetti squash. And so I put the recipe up at BeTotallyFitForLife.com and if you click on the link um, for blog, you'll find it in the blog. Yeah, this is delicious. I'm gonna be seeing my hubby for lunch. So if you, oh, we're going to eat some of this. But it's very low calorie, low carb. Um, everything is lean. The cheese on here is a nut cheese that I found that I can eat. I'm gluten free, dairy free, soy free, egg free. I can't eat beans. So at any rate, that's safe for me. And maybe you might like it, but you can use a, a skim cheese as well. I thought maybe you might like some great um, power-up snacks. And I found these at a store called Big Lots. They're only $3.25, or this one was two-something. At any rate, they are nut balls with, or sorry, I should say, fruit and nut balls with chia seeds. And one of them has coffee and cocoa powder. The other one is just bags, walnuts, and chia seeds. This one is dates cacao, hazelnuts, and Turkish coffee. So, at 39 calories per ball, and 40 calories per ball, two of them can really give you a little boost in the middle of your day. I wanted to bring something else to you with the whole concept of the harvest. And I am looking at Luke chapter 10, starting at verse one. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them out two by two ahead of him to every town and place where he was about to go. So he's saying them to prepare the way for Jesus' teaching. He told them, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Go, I am sending you out like lambs to the wolves. So he also goes on to give them instructions about it. Now in Matthew 9, it, starting in chapter verse 35, it says, Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing of every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. So Jesus is the Lord of the harvest. Not necessarily of, of what we grow outside, but although everything belongs to him and it's entrusted to our care. But what I'm talking about is the harvest of people bringing people to him into the kingdom of God. And that's why we take care of our bodies, why we get exercise, why we eat healthy, nutritious food. So that we can do more for our families, for our neighbors and friends, strangers, and you know what, even the Lord, to serve the Lord. Because whatever we do should be all for him because we make our, our bodies a living sacrifice. We're a living altar that we lay down before him. So at any rate, I wanna wish you a great last weekend this weekend. It's a three-day weekend for Labor Day. And so at any rate, may God bless you.